Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. I get to share with you a brand new stamp set coming to the Newton's Nook Design Shop. It's part of their January release and it is super cute, guys. You are going to fall in love with it. Um, and there's also a chance to win this stamp set I get to share with you. Um, the details for that are over on my blog, so I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check out a chance to win this cute little stamp set called Love Quarry. It is so fun. Love the trucks. Um, each of the trucks are pushing or pulling or carrying a bundle of hearts. Um, there's even a little safety cone in there. There's coordinating dies that will die cut out each of the images in this little Love Quarry stamp set. It's a four by six stamp set. And there's fun sentiments in here, guys. We're gonna create a project with it. So we're gonna do some stamping. The sentiments in here are so cute. Um, they completely go with all these little dump trucks and truck images. Um, I totally dig you is one of them. Uh, you move me, we're the perfect mix. I think that goes great with the cement truck in there. <laughs> you are tons of fun and sending loads of love. So fun little sentiments. Great for the guys in our life. I stamped two of the trucks that were facing each other. Um, and then I'm also gonna stamp um, the outline of the heart three times and then also the safety um, cone three times. We're gonna build a little scene. Today's project is gonna be pretty simple. Um, I, I'm i stamping on Copic Friendly um, paper and I'm stamping with Copic Friendly ink, um, but I skipped the coloring, guys. Um, I just chose some yellows and truck tones um, and then I used the coordinating dies to cut out my images. I skipped the coloring because I, I wanted to um, speed the video along to save me a little bit of time because all week long we're gonna be doing release um, uh, Newton's Nook Designs um, reveals. So I wanted to save a bit of time. So, but there's what they look like, all die cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and add foam adhesive behind each one of my trucks. And then um, I'm also gonna add foam adhesive behind each one of the safety cones and hearts as well. Now, today's card's gonna be pretty simple. I wanted to create kind of a striking background um, that would stand out. So I went through my pattern papers and I couldn't find a yellow and black striped paper. So I'm gonna make my own. I cut out some thin uh, strips. They're half inch strips of yellow and black cardstock. And then I'm just adhering them to the very bottom of a uh, five and a half inch wide panel here. Once I ran out of my strips here, I'm just gonna trim off the excess and then use those um, scrap pieces to fill in all the open areas. I'm just going over the bottom piece because I only need a one inch strip um, so that it worked out perfect with these little strips of paper. I'll take my paper trimmer. We're gonna even up the right side here and then I'll flip my paper around and line it up at the one inch mark and then we'll just trim it off. So we have some fun, um, th that's con that looks like construction to me, those colors. So that's why I chose those colors. Okay, I trimmed down my strip to a four and a quarter inch um, wide strip. We're gonna add foam adhesive behind this strip of paper and then adhere this to the very bottom um, directly on our card front. Um, our card base today is four and a quarter by five and a half inches tall. It's a standard A2 size card front card base, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna grab our sentiment. I chose the sentiment that says, I totally dig you. I think it's super fun. And before we stamp our sentiment, I'm gonna kind of arrange where I want my trucks to go and also where I want my safety cones to go. This way um, I can evenly space my sentiment in between there. This truck, we need to add an extra piece of foam adhesive just so everything lines up nice and even. We'll add one safety cone in front of our bottom truck. And then we'll add one to our top, right in front of it. And then we'll go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna stamp it with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It's a very um, black ink. I think it goes really well with the stripes there. We're gonna add our little hearts. And then I have one safety cone left over and I wanted to put it on the bottom corner of, I'm sorry about my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bottom corner of my card base, but didn't like that look. So I'm gonna pick it up and it's gonna be extra. So we're gonna put it on the inside of our card. No use in wasting that. We'll decorate the inside with the safety cone. <laughs> okay, all we have left is add some bells and whistles. 
I'm using some morning dew drops. These are going to dry um, clear like a glossy accents. Then we're going to add some sparkle to the center of our tires with some silver glitter drops. And then I'm going to add some sparkle to each one of the hearts that are floating up and also the hearts that each one of the trucks are carrying with my Nuvo Aqua Sugar Pen. And then that completes my card for today, guys. Super fun. Love the stamp set. It's called Love Quarry. Keep a look for a look out for it. It'll be available at the Newton's Nook Design Shop on Friday. That's when the release, entire release goes live. But this is day two. Tomorrow I'll be back with another video and to share a sneak peek of one of the new products for day three. Keep a lookout for that. And again, if you want a chance to win this stamp set, details are over on my blog. I encourage you guys to check it out. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. <music>